I wanted to show you guys how to work with zip files. I've been getting a couple of uh, questions about what do I do with them, what are they, where are the files that I need to, to work with each chapter, and the answer is that everything that you need is always in these zip files at the beginning of any of the assignments. So here I am in, in chapter three, and the very first thing is that you're supposed to do the hands-on practice, add the code on page 84 to this template.html. Well, where's template.html? That's a big question I've been getting. It's inside this little zip file. Now zip files are actually a file that is a collection of other files. So all of these things where you're supposed to add to a page, all of these guys, they're inside this zip file. So let me show you how you grab this stuff, or how you work with these things. First off, I need to download this zip file, and if you click on it, I'm in Chrome, so it just automatically downloads it. And I think I have two copies now. Um, if you're in Firefox, it should ask you where you want to add it, and I think Internet Explorer is probably going to download it right to your desktop. Now, when you get these files, they look like a little folder with a zipper. And if you double-click on them and look inside of them, there might be a couple of folders in there, you're going to see all of the files that you need to work with. Don't work with them just yet. Do not open them in Notepad. The reason being that you're not supposed to work with files inside of a zip file. Um, they, things can get a little wonky if that happens. You have to extract the files out and then you can start work with, working with them. So to extract them it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is right click on the folder on the zip file and one of your options is going to be extract all. When you click that you'll get a little window that pops up and says are you sure you want to do this blah blah blah. Just click extract and you'll see it created a new folder on my desktop and it actually opened up that folder for me. Uh, and now at this point you can actually take this zip file and you can delete it. It's no longer necessary at all in the slightest. So once you get in here, these are actually files that you can work with. So for example, I'm going to start with this template and I'll right click on it and edit it in Notepad. It's everything that I need to start this and I can put in a nice hello world or whatever it is you're supposed to do with the assignment. And then when I save this, uh, all my changes have been made. Now the way this is the uh, the assignments are supposed to work is that when you open up uh, go to any of these hands-on practice sections start with these files open it up in notepad any of the code in that's printed in blue is this is the actual code that you add to this page and then you do a file save as and change it to whatever name is here um, so that's what you'll end up doing You'll work with all of these files. You'll have a bunch of new ones after that that will all be named slightly different. When you're finished, you need to send me a zip file of this entire folder back through Moodle. So you download the zip file, you extract it, you make the changes, and then you rezip it. To do that, you're going to right click on the folder, send to, compressed zipped folder should be your option. When you click on that, it will create a new zip folder, zip file. And this includes all of the new changes that you, you've made. Do this as the last step. If you do it at the beginning and then you keep working on the files in here, they will not update in the zip file. These two are not linked. This is just a snapshot of this folder at the time that you create the zip file. Now when you're done with this zip file, when you've actually created it, you need to upload it back through Moodle. To do that, you go back to the exact same place where you downloaded it, with all the instructions and down at the bottom there's a nice little upload file. All you have to do is choose a file, or browse to my desktop, and grab the zip file. I can open that guy and then I can click upload this file and you'll get a little red X beside here. That means that I think you have about 15 minutes or it may even be longer where you can actually delete this file if it's not the one that you meant to. Um, and then after that period uh, it's submitted to me and I can actually see it. If you can see the file here, then I've got the file. Um, I may not have graded it yet, but I've got it and I'll be able to look at it. So I'm going to ask you to zip files up anytime you're going to be submitting more than one file. Um, these zip files are have all of the different things, uh, all of the different files inside of them. I do not want you to submit every one of these individually. First off, Moodle will try to rename some of them, so a lot of your links will suddenly stop working. Also, if you have all of your image files down in an images folder, 
uh, and you submit them, they won't link properly. A zip folder actually keeps the folder structure intact, which is essential to, to web design. Okay? Good luck, guys.